Hey, yo, what's good on my welcome back to our sneakers where we upload a video every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Today we are going to talk about how to keep your sneakers clean and how you can have them retain their value. Yo, you change for Want time singles? Yeah. Change. Did you ever hear a tie? And then you don't want it. Right, what happened? No, I think it was, it was some girls that threw it in the trash. It's there, but it's in the trash. I'm pretty sure you don't want to do it in the trash. Like another one of these headbands? I don't know. As I was saying before I got interrupted, today we are going to talk about how we can retain the value in our sneakers. And to answer this in simplest forms, you pretty much got to keep it as dead stock as possible. So pretty much keep it brand new if you guys don't know what dead stock is. And there's a few ways that I do it. As you guys can see here, I have a pair of cream whites and they pretty much look brand new if it wasn't for the fact that they were laced up. Like if I factory laced them, you guys would probably think they're brand new. And if you guys look at the inside, they look brand new. And also this, you guys are going to hate me for this, but this is not the one that stretches your shoe out a lot. So this is the white one. The black ones are the ones that mess it up. Obviously, if you look at the bottom, it is dirty. So that's going to take away value from the sneaker. Sneaker, but I am going to give you tips on how you guys can retain the value of your sneakers And the first way to do so is the easiest way and it is to be careful on how you walk I know this sounds really stupid But it is pretty much taking care of your sneakers when you have them on your feet So don't go ahead and like trash them don't go walk on dirt Don't wear them in the rain and stuff like that Just pretty simple things and pretty obvious things and what I'm gonna say is gonna sound pretty stupid But I'm pretty sure a lot of sneaker has to do this I know I do at least and that is to check the weather before I go out because that helps me decide on the sneakers that I want to choose and it's easier for me to say because I do have a lot of sneakers I know a lot of other people have a more limited collection so it's not as easy to say and it's easy to do but I do have the option to wear beaters if it is a rainy day or it is an ugly day and I know I'm gonna go beat them up like if I'm gonna go to the park or something or if I'm gonna go somewhere where I know there's mud like a concert or a club or something like that you always want to wear certain sneakers on certain occasions which is also another tip going on to tip number three is one that I used to do but I don't do anymore because it just didn't seem that helpful especially for the ones that I bought and it is to buy the bottom soles like the clear soles I forgot what you call them. I think they're called like sole guards or sole protectors or something like that but we're gonna go ahead and call them sole protectors they are pretty much a clear film that goes in the bottom of your sneaker there are two kinds there's the ones that don't have the traction pads on the toe and the heel so they do slip on carpet and on some other surfaces and when it's wet it's definitely going to slip but then they also have the ones that have the traction pads and i know there's some companies that are really popular on this i think the has their own and this is not a paid sponsorship or anything i'm just saying that because it's one of the few that i know and what the shoe protector does is pretty much like i said it's a film it covers the bottom of the sole so when you walk you don't get it dirty and then when you take it off it looks brand new and your sneaker will retain more of its value moving on to tip number four is to put tape on the insole of the sneaker this midsole might look cleaner right here in this little square than it does in the rest of the shoe and that is because there's a piece of tape right here that's covering up the letters here the reason i do that is to keep the letters there because it does show authenticity and also does show that the shoe has been taken care of however it is dirty on the toe areas because those are the parts where my feet touch this more and that's almost inevitable dirt is always going to get on the bottom of your feet dirt is always going to get on your socks and every time you put your shoe on it is going to get dirty one thing that i do to keep this cleaner is to change my socks every single time i put a sneaker on especially if it's more limited sneaker like yeezys i always put a new sock on i know it sounds really dumb but i do like to retain the value of my sneakers just in case one day something goes wrong and i do need to sell all my sneakers or i do need to sell a few of them tip number five is to put crepe protectant on your sneakers i don't know if this protects against dirt like if somebody were to step on it but i know it does protect against water and let's say there was like dirty water and it splashed on your shoe it would pretty much just drip off and it would not get your sneaker dirty and i'm not sponsored by crepe either i wish i was but they don't want to hook it up but anyways i'm still shouting them out like i always do in all not all my videos but most of my videos i always shout them out whenever i can just because i'm a huge fan of their products and last but not least the last way to retain the value of sneakers is one of the easiest ones and it is to actually just go ahead and clean the sneaker that is going to raise the value up a little bit it's going to take you some work but when you go to sell the sneaker it will raise the value of the sneaker a little bit and you could get like five ten more dollars out of it maybe 20 depending on what sneaker it is and let's say you use all these tips and try to keep your sneakers clean and you clean them as well they're still going to look cleaner than how they were before you cleaned them even though it does look clean like this sneaker looks 100 percent clean but i bet you if i clean it it will look even whiter and i could sell it and the only thing that would drop the value would be the outsole and also the insole which is almost impossible to clean unless I probably bleach it or something but I would not do that and one thing I do want to say is that even though you guys have white shoes that look 100% clean they're always gonna get dirt on them they're the closest thing to the floor and the floor has a lot of dirt and every time you walk you're lifting up little particles of dirt and they do get onto your sneakers so don't think that any sneaker you have is 100% clean if they have been worn <coughs> I might as well just crap protect the whole shoe, damn. Before I close out this video, I do gotta make one more announcement, and that is that I'm doing a Yeezy Mask giveaway. If you guys wanna join, all you gotta do is go down the description, click on the link below, and then follow on the entries, and then you get one entry for every single thing that you do. And for every single thing that you do, you do raise your chances to get a Yeezy Mask. You get to choose one out of the three if you are a winner at the end of this month. The winner will be chosen on January 31st, or February 1st. 
Either way, both of them are pretty much in the month, but most likely I think I made the end date on January 31st. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. You guys know that before I go, I do gotta give a shout out to the fan of the day, and today's fan of the day does go to Omar Rios. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you smash both of those buttons, the thumbs up button and the subscribe button, because we are trying to get to 25,000 subscribers by the end of this month. Anyways, that's it for today. Make sure you guys keep grinding. It's your boy, I think you're signing out.